Hi guys, so quite a few of you through our social media platforms on Instagram, YouTube and Facebook have asked them to get a tour of their van, so let's do it. So last October um, we went to the NEC in Birmingham and we ordered this Cartago Chic Sea Line. Um, we were expecting delivery in September this year, so when we got a phone call from Go European Motors to tell us it was ready in June, to say we were excited is an understatement. So we were done in June, picked up the new van and we were absolutely love it. I'll give you a look around. So we've got underfloor storage here and that goes all the way through to the other side, which is fabulous. We call it a ski locker because it's um, room to get there's room to get skis in. Moving along this is our garage. It's full of junk at the moment, but <laughs> um, see the space we've got in there. And again, there's another big door at the other side, which is fabulous. So, moving round to the back, here we've got um, a reversing camera, which is also used as a rear view mirror, which is fantastic inside on the small monitor. Moving further round, the other side of the the other side of the garage, still to open up this box and all the goodies that we've got in there and we also ordered the spare wheel. So the space we've got in there is fantastic. We ordered the tag axle version um, which gives us so much more space inside so you'll get a look at that when we get in there um, but it really just glides along the road, it's a fantastic drive. We also upgraded to the gas flow system and the main reason for that is when we go to the continent we can refill the bottles um, which makes it much easier. And then the other side of the underflow storage and we've got that rammed with stuff at the moment but that's really good too and then here we've got the diesel film cap it's a two litre diesel 170 brake horsepower engine so it really is a nice drive. When we open this door the step comes out automatic at the bottom here and then when you close that door back up the step goes back in again. So that's a nice little touch there. And then up front the, the vision and the view from that windscreen is fabulous. Um, see so much of the road and so much of what's in front of us. We'll give you a look inside. So we've got a button here for the steps. And I can just step behind the window. So up front, got the Mercedes cab, so luxurious and the leather on these seats is so soft and comfortable. Um, if Cam can come up a, a little bit and to show you the driving position. So we've got the, the Merce Mercedes steering wheel with full functionality, everything here right at your fingertips. The reversing camera and rear view mirror comes up on this small screen here. Um, the vision, as I said, through that front windscreen is just absolutely fabulous. The M box, um, Mercedes Benz um, multimedia system here, it's touch screen. Um, you've got your sat nav um, and all your radio um, and your, your multimedia music, so played through that. Um, so, yeah, so, and both these seats swivel round to, to join the the party. We've got a double bed here. These seats fold down and that just comes down from this clip. It's a really big spacious bed up there. Um, and then this table just uh, can you know turn in any direction etc. Um, so yeah so that's good and we've got two seat belts here so we can take two um, forward facing passengers. These blinds are fantastic as well, so 
we've got the blinds come around here and around here and that gives you the privacy so that's really good too and then all the fly screens and stuff like that and then in here we've got the 40 inch flat screen TV which just comes up at the touch of a button So we've got great storage in this fan as well Above the TV here That's all the electrical works and everything for the telly And we also got a, a Wi-Fi um, router fitted there So we've got unlimited data for using the TV etc um, Again more storage over this side So we've got great storage in this fan And also even right into the corners here We've uh, really just um, giving you storage everywhere, which is fabulous. So moving back um, into the kitchen area, there's yeah, storage up here which is really good, and the three burner gas hob, over there, and the sink, which you like this idea, and also this can just take away. A little bit of extra up top space, and this is good as well for the extra up top space there. We really like that. Karen really likes the oven. The last van we had, the oven was at high level, so having that oven there is fantastic and plenty of draw space here as well. So we've got three big spacious drawers there. <laughs> And then down here, another drawer, and the waste bins are in there too. And of course, a van wouldn't be a van without a wine rack. So there we go. Up here, we also included the Truma Aventa AC because we have plans to go to Europe in this van and it'd be good to have the AC. Okay, so over this side we've got the Dometic fridge freezer. It's a nice big fridge and again it opens at both sides which is fabulous. You don't remember which side to open it from. And also the freezer. And then a, a spice rack in here, which is a good sized spice rack, full length. And then we have a door here that can shut off the, the back of the van. So moving into the dressing area, the dressing room as we call it. And this is one of the areas that really sold this van for us. Because you can totally close this area off um, from here. So we close it off from that side and from that side and it gives you a fantastic dressing room in here. Um, you can see this side we've got a full length wardrobe. Um, in the last van we were crouching up and down to get into the wardrobe so this is fabulous to, to have the, the full length wardrobe there. And on this side we've got a really spacious sink, three big drawers, three big drawers underneath which are great. And the cabinet for all your stuff in there. So that's all good. Um, and there's plenty of lighting on this van. The, the, the mood lighting in it's really fantastic, and it's all dimmer switches and stuff, so you can really set the set the mood. Really excellent shower. It's a really spacious shower. Plenty of room. So yeah, um, and then on this side a separate, a separate WC toilet, and it's ceramic, which is sorry, which is a ceramic, which is fantastic, and the the heating with radiators, it's a a water based heating system. So moving up to the back. We've got the two single beds, 
obviously this middle section can pull out an infill cushion goes in there and you can make it into a big double if you wish but we're quite happy with the, with the van that way we've still got the, the two wardrobes underneath here um, so plenty of storage one on that side and one on this side got our bedding and stuff in there at the moment and plenty cupboard space in the back of the van I don't need to open these all up for you but you know there's plenty of space up there and then we've got a TV TV for the back of the van in here which means I can sit up there and watch the football so that's pretty much the inside of the van guys I hope you've liked it um, to say we absolutely love it it's a dream van for us particularly this mid um, dressing area which we love so that's it for this video guys, we hope you've enjoyed the tour, you really do enjoy touring in this van. Uh, Carl, what do you like about the van? Um, well as you know I like to cook so that having the kitchen area with a low level oven is a real feature for me and lots of worktop space and I do enjoy having the midship area to have a changing room um, where there's room to move around and a full length wardrobe. Yeah, yeah great. Um, one of my favourite bits about this van is um, the storage. Um, we upgraded to a five and a half ton chassis and uh, the amount of storage we've got. So we'll be able to take loads of stuff with us without worry of payload issues. And I do also love the fact that the van's level all the way yeah. from the front of the van right to the very yeah. back all yeah. on the one level. That's really good as well. And the Mercedes drive. Um, I did like the Fiat on our Mobile Veta, but it's just um, th this drive in the Mercedes, it's just a step up, it just glides along, it's absolutely fantastic. So we're looking forward to some really good adventures, we've yep, got a, yeah. month, a month in France booked yep. up for next month, so um, come along with us when we're in France and we'll show you a bit more about what this van's got to offer. guys that's it for this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did it would be appreciated if you could click the like button subscribe and hit the notification bell as that will certainly help our channel grow in youtube thanks for watching